Okay, next topic, 3D model workflow. So first of all, you always need to find your 3D model. So here we use Terra. You go to your Terra, find a model you want, and you're trying to do a basic setting of your 3D model. So first, we find a model called it Office for Flap 2. So we find the 3D model. We set the basic settings of the model and also advanced settings. Here we use WGS84 as the default coordinate system. And we also select the point cloud model and model B3DM. And then we save it and export to the, our local like uh, PC. And after that, let's go to the flyhub 2 side. So here is the project for the 3D model. So in this project, we already upload the model I just showed on Terra. Let's try to find a model. So here is the model library here. You see the 3D model, we have five files. Here is the model we just uploaded. So import. So here is the uh, import button. Once you click that, it will pop up the model here. So here's for the 2D, it will just let you know uh, which kind of like files is need for the model import. And uh, for the pl uh, point cloud, accept the points and mesh B3DM. So b follow the instructions and try to import the model. So once you've done the model import, you will find the model in a map. So there's a three, so basically that's the normal, if you don't have any models here, you will see there is a map management. Let me try to zoom a little bit, yep. So map mod management, you have 3D model, 2D model. So we have a lot of 3D models here. So this is the one, the points cloud model of the office here. And here's the the 3DMS here. So let's show, let's say first the display. Once it's display, you will have the recent button here. This is model we just import here. So trying to make this 3D. This is a point model, points model of the office. And uh, let's hide it. We can also show this one. And this is the model we have. And again, I mentioned about the uh, map settings. So on the left bottom, you can show the HD model here. See, more clear on that. And I want to show this model on the map because what I wanted to do is trying to create a fl flight route based, based on this model. So I've already showed this model with the HQ mode and also uh, the building's roof 3D, whole 3D model. So let's try to adjust it. And okay. Um, then let me, so this is the notation of this one. So probably let me delete this. Okay, that's more clear. And I go to the flyer library. Create flyer. Give it a name. 3D model fly. Okay, let's do with the M30T waypoint route. Okay. Okay, it's pop ups the uh, resolution. So click OK and try to zoom out a little bit. Okay, that's better. So let me find my takeoff point here. Same thing here. I probably take off this point. Okay, I will have flight my aircraft take a point and also I have a really clean clear 
version of the building because I already import our 3D model here. So then same thing here, I'm gonna move my aircraft based on that one. So you see there is a, a difference between the ASL, uh, the ASL height is the, it's about 20 meters. So you move here, it's changed. So it's probably lets you know you're above something. You see, this is the, this is the current ASL. Uh, I'm sorry, not ASL, uh, uh, above ground level of the aircraft. So you, you go up or down. So here right now, probably I, I want to set up here. It's a waypoint. Okay, I got a warning because it's too, it's like approaching to the ground less than 20 uh, meters here. Same thing in the last uh, sections we mentioned. So basically for all other rest of the fly rough settings are the same, but here you probably can have a better view of all the details. So let's change to the camera view here. And I wanted to focus on something you see. Probably want to take photo of this one. Uh, zoom a little bit. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. Uh, two more. Okay. Yeah, I found it. That is two more. I want to cover all of it. So, yep, I just want to check this fan. Okay, I think I found my target. And probably uh, take take photo on it. Yep, that's probably my first waypoint. And uh, my first action. But basically, that's all depends on your needs. So here you see, uh, even I a little bit close to the group to the top roof but I also I still have a buffer for the other higher roof which is good so like this is the just a warning it's not just ban your mission it's just let you know you have to uh, like fly with caution of everything you need to know everything about the your mission okay this is the uh, 30 model input import so um let me see yeah basically you can also try to use a, a points model here not just a, here, let me see oh, zoom a little bit sorry so let's go back to map hide this model and show the points model here you see you also have a points model and you can always let's continue this one yep you can always create a flat mission based on your points model so all you need Yeah, basically accept the 3D model import or show and hide all other fly wrap creation or settings are basically the same. So go through all the settings, advanced settings, and then trying to add waypoints and add actions and finish your home missions. Yeah, that's about 3D model workflow here.